Good day, everybody. This is the seventh day of the Clean 21 program cleanse. And wow, 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 it's been a week. I uh, Still, I guess Monday is when we started the cleanse, but wow, it's uh, amazing to be this far already. Well, a third of the way through, and I'm just thinking to myself more often than not how much I want to continue eating like this. It, of course, I'm excited to have other kinds of foods again, looking forward to that really, but uh, the, the whole idea of having a shake at nighttime, not going to bed with a lot of food stuff sitting inside the, the belly is good. I, I'm noticing a much more consistent way of uh, digesting all of that and feeling really good in the morning. And uh, one of the things I really wanted to comment on is my sleep patterns are just so much more pleasant now that I'm doing this cleanse. I'm sure it has to do with the uh, just all the consistency of the ingredients and then the the uh, organic food, no processed anything. Just being very, very mindful about that uh, has been great. So that, I'm really, really happy to be doing this. And today for lunch, we had roasted chicken with some roasted vegetables. I didn't eat the whole thing. So again, sticking to the Le eat, sticking to the uh, plan to eat less each time and that's working out really good so it's uh it's good I'm just feeling there's much more of a continuity between when i think i'm full and when i know i'm full in my gut when i feel full uh i get i, th I can only imagine with the processed foods from all the things i've seen where you're having all of these hydrogenated oils and on natural ingredients and things like that where it, you, you you think you're full at first but then you're 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 really not so there's just you're constantly having to take in more because you're the the chemistry going to your brain is telling you no I need more food need more because you don't have enough really what you're supposed to have in there to keep yourself nourished that is not the case now I am very nourished uh, been just doing uh, oh this morning we had a, a warm shake it was a little chilly this morning so we had a shake that was with some nutmeg, some cinnamon, almond milk, the packet, of course, with the protein powder, and uh, wow, super good, super good. The warm, I like doing the warm one in the morning now, in these cold winter, cold, cold winters as the palm trees loom over me in the background. Yeah, it's not really that cold, but it, it gets a little chilly. So a warm one in, in the morning is pretty nice, so I might keep doing that. I love that. Also, I'm having so much more cacao into my system. Cacao being one of the most, I think it's the hot, most highly uh, rated when it comes to antioxidants. It's got the highest count of antioxidants out of any food. That includes blueberries and um, all sorts of things like that. Red wine. <laughs> I'm not a big wine person, but yeah. Antioxidants and electrolytes, getting all of the minerals and nutrients, it's great. My thought process throughout the day has just been so much clearer and I feel like my mood is just really good. I, I, I feel like I'm able to think more before I speak, especially when I'm in normal conversations. This is a little different because I'm talking to a camera, but the when I'm engaged with conversations, I'm just able to articulate myself a lot better. Just even when I would normally react to something, whether it's positive, negative, or something in between, I tend to have much more of a uh, a grounding to think about it more, feel it out more before I speak. <clears throat> and that's good, right? To have less reactivity, less impulsiveness throughout the day. I mean, the world is so crazy right now. It's so easy to react and overreact to things. And I definitely can do that. And I haven't had, I haven't had any issues with that. My dad keeps talking about how his arthritis pain is completely gone, which is so amazing. That's great. Uh, there's a, a book that I, I read a long time ago called Let Food Be Thy Medicine. It's uh, a book by Jolie Harris, who is considered the food prophet of Venice Beach. And that was a really cool introduction into this idea that the healing that we get from food is really all we need. The, the pharmaceutical drugs and everything, those those tend to take uh, center stage, especially in America, that it, if you're sick or you're feeling bad, oh, well, you got to take this pill or you got to do this treatment to feel better. Well, just imagine if you could eat food 
and that food would be your medicine. It's just like so simple. That's one of the principles of nature is simplicity. Nature is very simple. It's very beautiful and we are part of nature. So let's just continue doing this together. Just treating ourselves like we're watering a plant. You don't want to put bad stuff into the plant or your car even. You don't want to put crappy ingredients into your car. I don't want to put crappy ingredients into myself either. As I said before, I'm mad as hell. I'm not going to take anymore. Well, I definitely am not mad at all. I'm actually not mad at all. I'm very happy. Um, um, the uh, supplements and the nutrients going to continue doing that. Uh, other than that, really, I don't have anything else to report. I'm just feeling really, really good. And I like that by the end of the night, I'm just tired naturally. And I can go to sleep so much quicker than I would, than I can recall ever having to do. There would always be, have to be some sort of night aid, whether it was a drink or to smoke a little marijuana or whatever to, to go to sleep or even have to just stay up late to wear, to wear myself out. I don't have to do that at all. I'm just tired around midnight, go to sleep, and I wake up early, feeling refreshed. That's another thing, too. When I wake up now in the morning, I'm super, super refreshed. Before all this, like from November through December especially, I would wake up and just be tired for the first maybe hour or so as I'm getting out of bed and getting going in the world. But now it's just like as soon as I hop out of bed, I'm wide awake, and it feels awesome. It's great. So uh, thank you for watching and for everyone else that's doing the cleanse right now. I'm so happy to be doing this with you. Uh, if you have any suggestions on food or shakes or anything, definitely uh, leave your comments in the section below. And uh, I look forward from hearing from you. Uh, if there's anybody out there that wants to learn what to do and be a good activist in this world, take care of your health. Just take care of your health. And, and just lay off the excuses. We're just, we just write too many excuses for ourselves. Uh, and, and a lot of them are just complete BS. <laughs> so uh, again, thank you so much and looking forward to week two of the cleanse. Oh, I have all, another thing to report is I've lost uh, 12 pounds so far since uh, I started this cleanse. I don't know if I said that before, but I'm proud of it. <laughs> so I'll say it again. All right. So uh, happy trails, everybody. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday. Have a good evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.